The phrases from the report tell their own story. An unhealthy culture dripping with bullying, sexism and misplaced political correctness. Louise Casey's report, commissioned by Community Secretary Eric Pickles, left no room for doubt. Rotherham's entire council cabinet tendered their resignation. Residents had already had nearly six months to digest the news that 1,400 young women in the town had been exploited by gangs of mostly men from Asian backgrounds, with the council, police and social services doing very little to help victims. Justice gets done about it, you know what I mean? They get the right punishment and stuff like that, and they should be moved out of area for their own protection and put into hiding sort of thing, safekeeping and different names. Obviously I'm disappointed at the um, council and the way the council and the police have dealt with it. Obviously they've let the town down. Um, I'm glad that they've all resigned, yes. Rotherham yet again finds itself the subject of unwelcomed attention, with the council in disarray and senior politicians scrambling to distance themselves from this scandal. Have any lessons actually been learnt? And will those who profess to be advocating for the most vulnerable actually doing their jobs? Local politicians are calling for additional resources to help victims. And residents want the story told with greater context as it's already proved fuel for the far right. The way it's been reported is somehow worse. It's making the problem worse. It is highlighting the race issue when it's not about that. These people are criminals. It doesn't matter. Their background doesn't matter, they're criminals, it needs to be sorted. We can see that the far right is using this to further their own political agenda. And I think they're, what's happening is it's driving a wedge between communities and it's reducing the kind of capacity for uh, community cohesion that would help kind of heal after this kind of awful tragedy in Rotherham. Now the people of Rotherham hope the new measures will improve the lives for the people who live there and not as more fodder for political rhetoric. Amina Taylor, Press TV, Rotherham.